And this guy was probably one of the top balloonists in the world. Oh, and he ran out of damn gas. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, like Jordan saying, and y'all ladies are with one of the top captains on the planet, and and Leslie told me yesterday that that he didn't check the gas. We got enough gas to get home, son. Well, I don't know in my truck. I got enough in the boat to get us back here. My truck might be empty. We're good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> yep. Hey, what Rusty was telling folks is uh, literally last weekend, our biggest event of the year, the Great Mississippi River Balloon Race. Hey, they crashed literally right over here in almost neck deep water. Wow. And had to walk out. Wait out. Wait out. The river coming up a little bit. That's a redneck adventure. Absolutely. If you've ever crashed in a red uh, hot air balloon because you ran out of gas into almost near Giles Island and had to wait out. You might be on a redneck adventure. That's it. That's it. <laughs> on a moron adventure. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, we're having a blast with this group. Hey, we have found it. These ladies own Texas, y'all. They own Texas. And somebody had said, somebody said, nah, they they don't own Texas. I've already, I saw it. They 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 own pretty much everything in Texas. So, no, we're having a blast. Y'all stay tuned. I did tell them about that fancy, them two boys sitting on the side that get on that other, you know, Jordan. You know, y'all can stay tuned and watch them. They're on Showtime. Matter of fact, they were featured, I believe, last night. That new hit series, Gigolos. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, y'all keep watching. We're going to take some more pictures, and we're seeing all kind of fun wildlife today. We did see a jumping Asian car. Ma'am, you can right verify. What? Right what? What? But see, you did see that jumping fish a while ago, so you can verify. She saw it twice. Well, back here in this area, this is where also maybe the the man, the myth, the legend, you know, the uh, what the Cajuns call the Rougarou. You know, I'll, I'll tell y'all the story also way, way back in the day. You know, Leslie likes this too, that uh, way, way back in the day before me and you, I believe, were even here, the circus came to town and the train came and it brought all the different animals and it ran off kind of almost like in the, in the river with the animals. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah. So maybe the animals wound up in the Devil's Punch Bowl up the river that we have a place called the Devil's Punch Bowl. You did hear that story, didn't you? So maybe that's how the Rougarou or the, the Yeti or the, not the Loch Ness Monster. I think that's across the big pond. But that's it. The Cajuns call it the Rougarou. Some people call it Sasquatch. A hairy man-like be beast. Lady, have y'all ever seen any, uh, like, a hairy man-like beast that uh, roams the, the woods in Texas? I married him. You married <laughs> And, did, and, and inquiring redneck minds have to know, did you kick him off the ranch or what? Uh, well, he just strayed on to the ranch. He strayed on to the ranch. You kept him. That's it. He's a pet. He's a pet. <laughs> hey, that's kind of like, hey, that's, I think I saw this movie. Was that <laughs> Castaway? Yeah. If, if I didn't get any money off of that. Tom I'd Hanks got all the them. He's right now. Wow. All right. We'll, we're going to call uh, the entertainment company. Yeah, you know, I do not think Jordan put oil again, once again, in the uh, motor. He's pretty famous for doing that. All right. We're going to see if we can hopefully see a jumping Asian carp. We've been to head back in just a minute, shoot some shotguns. The sun has broke out. Beautiful day.